Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about creating print-on-demand designs using Canva. So if that is something that you're interested in, please stick around. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create this design right here. This one says Mermaid Security and it's sort of got a um, glittery gradient clipping mask that goes over it. I actually used a pre-existing graphic, which was somewhat similar, erased parts of it, added other things to it, added a clipping mask and got this. And so if this is something that you would like to learn how to do, go ahead and stick around. So I am on Canva's homepage right now. I'm gonna go ahead and go to custom size. I'm gonna pick 4,500 by 5,400 pixels and we'll start with that. So I am now on my blank page. I do like to design for black, so I'm just gonna go ahead, select my page, go to the left-hand corner where it says background color and I'm gonna select black for my background color. Now in this video, I'm going to be taking a pre-existing graphic and I'm gonna be making some alterations to it to make it a little bit different, make it more my own. And so I'll show you how you guys can go ahead and do stuff like that. So I'm gonna go over to the left-hand side where it says elements. And for this video, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go with mermaid theme. Mermaid theme is always popular for little girls and whatnot, especially for birthday parties. And also there's a certain movie that came out recently that has probably made mermaids a little bit more popular right now. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just put mermaid and we'll go with graphics and I'll show you what comes up. Now I did already look through here. There's a lot of really fun graphics and other things. There is some specific ones that I am looking for that were pre-made that I thought looked pretty cool in terms of their layout. And this is actually the one I wanted right here says Mermaid Squad. Now you can see if I go to Magic Recommendations, there's a few different mermaid style ones, but this is the one that I'm gonna be working with. So now what I wanna do is find a way to make this my own. Um, clipping masks are always great. You can add clipping masks and we can add some other things to it, but I wanna change the wording. So I've seen a lot of shirts that say like mermaid security on it for parents to wear to like a little girl's birthday party. Cause what I'll notice is that when people are selling birthday party shirts, they're selling shirts both for the little birthday girl, but then they're also selling shirts for the parents to wear like mom of the birthday girl. Um, so I've seen princess security, mermaid security, things like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and sort of take this design and this layout and I'm gonna make it say mermaid security. So the first thing I wanna do is be able to erase some of this because I wanna get rid of the word squad and I wanna put the word security in here. So to do that, I'm gonna to need to use um, a background removal. Now it's not gonna let me use background removal probably. Well, maybe it will. Background remover. Huh, I didn't think it would on the graphic, but let's see. This might have just saved me a step. So if I go to background removal, I hit these three little um, dots here. It's gonna pull up the design. Oh my gosh, it did, how awesome. Okay, so now what I can do is I can use my erase to erase anything I don't want. So for example, I wanna get rid of the word squad. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit and make my brush size a little bit different, or a little bit bigger, sorry. I'm gonna erase the word squad. Oh, that's cool. I didn't think it was gonna let me do that on a graphic. They keep changing everything on Canva. So obviously, you know, every time you get on it, you might notice that there's different features or that they've changed sort of the layout of the features or other things. And so this is pretty cool because this just saved me a step. It used to be with the elements I don't know if it's with all of them now, but with some of the graphics, it wouldn't let you use photo editing on the graphics. Um, so I had to save the graphic uh, and then upload it. And once I uploaded it, then it treated it like it would an image and allowed me to use photo effects on it. But this way I don't even have to um, because it just let me do that just like that. And so that's pretty cool. So here is my mermaid. And let's go ahead and go back and see if it did that for me. Hey, well, awesome. Now it looks like I missed a spot. One of the things that they've done with the, the editor that I really like is it allows me to go back in and mess with it some more. So I missed that spot. I can just go right back, hit it, and there I fixed. And so that is pretty cool that it allowed me to do that. So that's something that used to take a lot longer to do or I'd have to do it all over again if I messed up. And so the way that they've 
you know, let us, you know, do more uh, with this is really cool. So I do really like the way that looks. Um, so now I've got my mermaid. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and put a text box here and I want the bottom line to say security. Okay, um, now I need to pick a nice font that's gonna go with this. I want it to be kind of tall like that one. So I need something that's a little bit tall or narrow that looks like it goes. So let's go ahead and pick narrow and see what we've got. I want it to look as though it goes. So here is one. That's gonna make it really tall. And that might be too tall. Maybe not, let's see. Mermaid security. Actually, I kind of like that. I think that would work. Let's go ahead and shrink it down. Make sure I get it right where I want it. And actually, I like that. So, boom, first try and I got the text that I wanted. So, so far so good. I like the way that looks. I'm gonna go ahead and group this together now so I don't accidentally move it. So to do that, I am going to left click on my mouse anywhere outside of the graphics, and I'm gonna drag it over both, and that'll group it together, and I can hit group here, and that will lock the grouping in. So now I can move it and resize it all together. So now what I wanna do, oops, is I wanna put a little trident here, because it's a security thing, right? So maybe I shrink this down a little bit so I've got room for a trident, and now I can see if I can find one. I might have to just look up tridents and see if I can do it that way. It'll be a little faster. So let's go with trident or trident. Oops, spelled it wrong. Let's get trident. There we go. So oh, all sorts of really cool trident graphics that we can go with. And you know what? I'm going to keep it simple. I think I want to go with this one right here. I'm going to shrink it down so that it looks like it fits pretty nicely. Um, these are all pretty close together, so I'm going to go ahead and make that nice and close together there. And so, so far, so good. I'm liking the way that looks. I think I want to add just a little bit more flourishes to it, so maybe some bubbles, maybe some wavy waves or something. So let's see what I can do here. If I put waves, I've got some of these wavy lines. I think that looks pretty cool there, and it looks almost like it goes with the trident. So I almost like the way that that looks as though it's going with the trident. Um, I can do a couple more here if I want to. Maybe angle that one up a little bit. Uh, maybe not quite that much. Pull it down. So I'm seeing lots of different ways that I can sort of play with these. Maybe I bring that one out and I make this one a little bit bigger. Maybe I don't angle it quite so much or angle it the other direction. So lots of ways, again, to play with this. So again, like the way that looks. I'm not sure I love this little empty spot there. Don't know if there's anything I can fill that with, but not too concerned at the moment. I think that looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and let's look for some bubbles. And so I can do any bubbles that I want. They all look kind of cool. So let's go ahead and throw some bubbles up. Maybe I throw some bubbles here. I want them to be kind of, you know, small. So something like that. I could, of course, always angle this to make it work a little bit more. So that looks, that looks relatively cool when I do it that way. So there are some bubbles there. I could always put some bubbles here, but I don't have to. Depends how much I want to fill in the space. I suppose I could put a couple little bubbles there to fill in that space if I find any that I like. Um, essentially, they're just little circles um, and I can of course always just hit C on my keyboard make a circle and and do it that way so no reason I couldn't you know group them however I want ah, bubbles bubbles here's some more bubbles those look cool um, I'm just kind of looking for size and groupings that look you know kind of cool but again you can do anything you want so like here's a sort of size and grouping that might work it might work kind of cool right 
there just to fill in that spot. And actually, I think that would look good. So I don't want it to get too busy. So let's just go with this. I like the way that this looks, mermaid security. So I'm gonna put a clipping mask over the whole thing. You can see they kind of had a clipping mask over the tail, looks a little bit glittery. And then they had sort of a gradient clipping mask on the words. I'm gonna put a giant glittery clipping mask over the whole thing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put mermaid security frame. And so this is gonna be my frame. And I will download this with a transparent background. And then we are gonna go ahead and look for some awesome mermaid glitter. So what if I did mermaid glitter? And so you can see there's these cool sort of mermaid style backgrounds. And so some of these look really cool. Just some of them are more glittery, some of them rainbowy. So some really cool you know, gives it that mermaidy sort of look. And so those are all kind of nice. I like all of those. Let's say I was to go with this one here and sort of go and drag that out so that it covers the whole thing. And I can use the transparency up here. If I click on transparency and bring that down, I can see through it. And so now I can sort of see where the colors would line up. So I can decide how much you know, blue to purple I want. So that looks pretty cool there. It's gonna have this all sort of more teal and then sort of purple up there. Lose the transparency. And so that actually looks like it might be really cool. Again, you can look, see if there's any more you like. This one kind of looks cool too. It's just more uh, sparkle, not so much glitter, but you can obviously make a bunch of different copies of this too. So I could use uh, lots of different ones. Here's one that has like scales and bubbles. And so these would all make really interesting clipping masks, but I'm just gonna go ahead and go with this one. So I'm gonna go with just mermaid glitter uh, mask and I will download this. And I'll hit download. And so this is gonna end up being just a really, you know, easy design to make actually. Um, so let's go ahead and go to photo editor, upload. Sorry, I'm on photo P. I went over to photo P. I went too fast. Um, photo P, if you haven't used it before, you just put photo P.com into your browser. Um, you don't have to sign up for it. You don't have to make an account. You don't have to anything. You just put it in your browser, hit upload photo. It'll pull up your downloads. You can upload your, um, frame that you just made your mermaid security frame, which is what I did. And then I'm gonna go over to the left-hand side at the top where it says file. I'm gonna go ahead and hit open in place. We're gonna go with the mermaid glitter mask that we just made. And it should open that and put it right on top. And you can see your layers right here on the side and your glitter mask should be on top and it should be the one selected. So from there, all you have to do is go layer, clipping mask, and there you go. And so there's your design. That is pretty cool. I like the way that looks. I can go back to now file, export as a PNG. It's pulling up this little box here. I can rename it if I want to, don't have to. It's still a PNG, still 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. I can hit save. That's really all I needed photo P4. And it was that fast, that easy, and that free. So I use it a lot for clipping masks. Really, there's no easier, faster way to do it. So. Um, that was just super convenient and again, super free. And so now what I can do is go over to the left-hand side of my page where it says uploads, hit upload file, and now I can upload what I just made on PhotoP. Okay, so it's uploaded. I can just click on that and close this. I'm gonna open another page down here so I can pull it down here. So now we can see our finished result. And I'm gonna go ahead, bring it across my page how I like it, and center it, and it is ready to go. Now, just so that you can see the comparison, I'll go back up to um, my elements, and I'm gonna go back to my recently used, pull up the one that we had just used, this way we can do a little comparison. So now you can kind of see, whoop, let's go ahead and shrink, shrink it down so that we can see it, but, there was your original mermaid squad. And now above it, you can see the mermaid security that we made. And so that is, that is how you could take this 
and create this. And of course you could make this a bunch of different ways. I could use any kind of gradient I want, any kind of mask I want. I could add any bubbles or any extra stuff that I wanted to. I could, you know, change the, the, the font however I wanted to. I mean, I could make this from scratch and just get rid of the mermaid and pick a different font. Um, that's kind of a cool font, so I stuck with it. But again, that is how you can take any, any graphic that you see and just kind of edit it and make it your own. And so now this is totally ready for a t-shirt and um, or anything that you want it to go on. But easy design, hopefully quick. Um, if you have any questions about this, drop it in the comments section below. I'll try to get back to you as quickly as I can. Uh, again, if you have any video requests, you can put that in the comment section below. I do try to add people to the list um, and get to those as quickly as I can. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are making some good sales. Again, if you haven't, please hit like and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys again next week. That's it for today's video. If you found this useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative, and we'll see you next time.